In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared plus x minus 20 equals zero, and we'll use these steps here to guide our work. First, we wanna set up a skeleton equation. That'll look like this here. Next, we're gonna figure out the signs that go inside the parentheses here. So we have a positive and a negative. If the last term or if both the terms are negative, this is the format we'll use. We'll have a positive and a negative inside the parentheses. So let's put a positive and a negative here inside the parentheses. Now we're gonna find the factors for the last term, that negative 20, and those factors, when we add them up, they should equal the middle term. There's a one here in front of the x. So those factors should add up to one. The factors for 20, they're right here. So we're looking for something that gives us negative 20, <clears throat> but then adds up to one. If we had a negative five, four times negative five, that's negative 20, and then negative five plus four gives us one. So that doesn't work. But if we had a negative four, that would give us negative 20. Five plus negative four gives us positive one. So we're gonna say negative four, positive five. Now we can check our work with the FOIL method. First term, x squared outside, so x times minus four is minus four x. Inside, that gives us a positive five x. Last term, five times minus four is minus 20. All that equals zero. So we can see here, we have this minus four x and the five x. Minus four x and five x, that gives us a positive x. So we have x squared plus x minus 20 equals zero. Up here, x squared plus x minus 20 equals zero. So we've done this correctly. Now we need to find the solutions for this equation that'll make it zero. The values we put in for x, that'll make this whole thing equal to zero to be a true statement. Let's do that. So we could just say x plus five, that equals zero. Subtract five from both sides, x equals a minus five. Over here, we could say x minus four equals zero. Add four to both sides, x equals four. So if I put in negative five, as my value for x, I do the math, this will all equal zero. Likewise, if I put four in for x, do the math, again, it equals zero. So these are the solutions for this equation. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus x minus 20 equals zero. Thanks for watching.